As Thanksgiving approaches next week, shopping for the holidays is arriving fast. Local vendor shows like the Holiday Craft Mart at Keatley Center in St. Joseph today, offering people in the area a chance buying local with more on how people are using their creativity for gifts this holiday season. Kicker 2 Darren Doyle brings us a story. With online shopping becoming more popular, there's still plenty of interest in supporting small businesses. Oh, it's great. I mean, any, any way to help. These are our fellow vendor friends. Sherry's got a booth here. I have my t-shirt booth over there. And anything we can do to help bring the public in and support these small businesses, we will do it. The Holiday Craft Mart is on their third year, but every time it keeps growing larger. The first one, we started with 19 vendors, and we've now grown to anywhere between 58 and 63, depending on how many want double booths and stuff. Giving nearby businesses a chance to offer unique gifts to shoppers this holiday season. Uh, this is just another hobby. I since have long time retired. I just wanted something to keep myself busy. Especially for people like Brian, who turns what would be forgotten pieces of handiwork into art. I go to estate sales and auctions, garage sales, and I'll pick up these saw blades. A lot of them, people don't even know they're antiques. Inspired by a spark of creativity he had in the 1980s, he offers unique scenes in oil and acrylic on different types of saw blades to make them into something perfect for your favorite spot in your house. But I'm not looking for an antique. I'm taking something that is destined for the trash can. It's covered in rust. Clean it. Um, really just apply the paint to it. Put the handle back on it. Try not to do anything to the handle. I want to keep that old patina age. And I just really enjoy what I do. It's just a hobby. Bringing magic holiday stories into people's homes. Reporting in St. Joseph, I'm Darren Doyle, KQ2 News. All right, thank you, Darren. If you wish to have a booth at next year's event, log on to KQ2.com and click on the story to learn more.